This conference will now be recorded. So in the previous session, we have discussed about role of summary fields and we have discussed what exactly role of summary field and what it will do and what are the various role of types it supports and how it is going to be calculating the count values or minimum values maximum or some values internally and upon creating the roll-up summary fields, what are the preconditions that we have on what kind of associated objects the roll-up summary fields can be applicable and how many roll-up summary fields that we can have for an object we have discussed in the previous session. Now, today we'll see how can we create the roll-up summary fields on our objects. Okay, now let's see one by one. Now. So let me go to my Salesforce org. Now, I'm going to my application now. I'm using the sales application. Now here I'm having the position object. And along with I'm having candidate object also. These are the two objects. In my position object, I'm having few position records. In the candidate object, I'm having few candidate records. Now, let me create a few more candidate records also as of now i'm having only one candidate record is available let me create okay two more candidate records as well now in order to create this candidate record a bit faster let me make it clone cloning in the sense creating duplicate copy here now just to open any of the existing record go to that button menu click on clone so this current record values it will be copying into the form automatically so you can make the changes whatever you want and then create the new records now i'm creating a candidate with the name some seven kumar seven kumar he's from hyderabad location years of experience some six years now the qualification btec he's having the current employer as like some honeywell technologies notice period immediate immediately he is able to join he is also applying for salesforce developer position he is applying for salesforce developer position so now again i'm indicating this email id as some seven at the rate gmail.com i'm giving some contact number let's see so now this is the second candidate record which we have created okay pravin kumar and the seven kumar next one I'm creating one more for these positions. Let's see for Java developer how many candidates? No one. Let me create one candidate. I'm opening this candidate record now. Let me make it clone. I'm giving the name as some Abhishek Verma. Abhishek Verma. He is from Bangalore location. He is having four years of experience. He is applying for the position Java developer. He is applying for Java developer. He is having two months of notice. Now click on save. For this particular position, let me add one more candidate also. I am making it clone. Here I am indicating his name is some Suresh Tiwari. He is from Mumbai location. He is having two years of experience. He is applying for the same position Java developer, but he is in immediate join. He is ready to join on immediate basis. Now let me see. These are the candidates. I have four candidate records are available. 
two positions are available here. For each position, some candidates has been applied. Like for Java developer, how many candidates are applied? Two candidates are applied here. These are the two candidates. <coughs> Abhishek Verma and Suresh Tiwari. And the second position sales was developer. For this one, two candidates are applied. Pravin Kumar and Shavan Kumar. Okay, now. So these are the positions are available and the candidate records are available. Now I would like to know whenever I'm opening this position, okay, position tab, here I would like to show how many number of candidates are applied for each and every position. For Java developer, how many candidates are applied? For Salesforce developer, how many candidates are applied? I want to list out the counts of these candidates. How to create? Now let me show you with the practical. Okay, now. I want to know the count of the candidates has been applied for each and every position. Let's see how can we create. Now, let's take this a small use case. Configure a roll up summary field on the position object. to represent the count of candidates for each position, for each position. Configure the ruler summary field on the position object to represent the count of candidates for each position. For every position record, how many candidates has been applied, I would like to know. Now, so now tell me on what object name I would like to configure role of summary field now. On position object or on candidate object? Position object. Now, so what is the precondition here upon mapping the mask in many to look at this role of summary field? What is the precondition? Master detail association. Both the objects should be associated with master detail association. So now, in this case, I'm having these two objects, position and the candidate, both are having master detail association where position is a parent and the candidate is a child. Right. Now, the object name is position on which I would like to create the role of summary field. So what is the data type that we need to select now? Role of summary. Right. Role of summary. The data type should be Dollar summary. So, what is the summarized object here? Summarized object means child object here. What is the child object in this case? Candidate. Candidate. Right. Okay. Now. Next. The roll up type. What type of roll up function you would like to apply? Count. Count function. Right. These are the four principles. So I want to create a roll-up summary field on the position object where upon creating the field, I would like to select the data type as roll-up summary. It should be summarizing the child records which are available inside my candidate object because candidate is my child object. And then the roll-up type is count. That means I would like to count the number of child records available for each and every parent so that I want to use the help of count function okay now let's see in this case how can we do this let me create the roll up summary field go to the position tab go to the setup menu click on edit object select the fields and relationships link now click on new button Select the data type as role of summary. If the objects are associated with master detail, then only this role of summary option will be in enabled state. If the objects are having lookup association, this option will be in the disabled state. So we can't select this option here. Okay, 
now. If it is an enable state means now roll up summary fields can be applicable here. Now select this roll up summary field. Click on next button. I'm indicating the number of candidates available for each and every position here. I would like to indicate the candidates count. Candidates count. Now click on next button. I mean giving the field label and the field name. Description and the helper text is optional over here. If you want, we can specify. If you don't want, leave it. No issues. Click on next button. Now select the summarized object here. On what object you would like to group the child records? I would like to summarize the child object records as candidate so candidate object records i would like to collect those records i would like to divide them to various small small groups based on the parent record id now so what is the roll up type you want to apply now these are the four roll up types will be supporting by salesforce count sum minimum and the maximum now so now here i'm selecting this account function in order to count the number of child records available for this particular each and every parent now click on next button the remaining story will be same select the visible checkbox to make the field to be visible to all the profile users now click on save so now my roll up summary field has been configured it is indicating candidates count so now which is using roll up summary data type which will be using the count function to count the number of candidates available for each and every position okay clear now let's see so now let me go to my parent object records over here that means positions now here i would like to represent the fields or else you can open the record also we can see the fields now still the field is not reflected over here refresh the user interface now let's see so now this is the position record java developer for this position how many candidates are applied here two candidates have been applied if you want to see those candidates just you can go to the related tab now we can see that candidates list over here these are the two candidates have been applied for my positions okay now when you go to the second position here like uh, some salesforce developer how many candidates are applied here also two candidates are applied who are all those candidates go to the related tab now it is indicating Pravin Kumar and Charvan Kumar. These are the two candidates are applied for this position. So we can able to count how many number of childs are available for each parent. We can count with the help of roll of summary fields as well. Okay. Understand the concept now? Next. Now I want to show that field in the field value in this particular user interface. Then what we can do? Let me customize this of fields to be visible here. Click on select fields to display. So now here I am indicating this. Now the milestone date, position status here, number of vacancies. I am removing this field. Let me place that field that is candidates count to know how many number of candidates are applied. Now we can see that. So it is indicating this is the position. This is the number of candidates are applied. So the candidates count is two. For Java developer, two candidates are applied. For Salesforce developer, two candidates are applied. Now tell me, can we modify this value now? No, this value will be purely read-only value, which cannot be editable by the user. Even though if you are an administrator, as an administrator also, we can't modify that value. That value will be always fixed. Clear? Now. Understood the concept? How to create the role of summary fields? Now, let's see. Next one. One more use case here. Second use case. Now, the second use case. Now, for example, assume that i'm having the positions i'm having the candidates as of now we know how many number of candidates are available for each and every position i'm able to get the count now so now my requirement is i want to know 
how many candidates are available for this position who can join on immediate basis because for this position already we have selected a candidate the candidate has to join in next monday but today we got an email from the candidate he is joining some different company because they have offered very good package so that he is going to different company but already we have committed to our client this next monday we are producing a new resource for this position here but so now suddenly we got a surprise from the candidate he is not joining the company here because he got a new offer letter from a different company with a good package with a good asset opportunity so now what we can do i need the resource immediately so today i will conduct the interviews or tomorrow will conduct the interview if he is okay then next day after tomorrow will be the joining date for the person i want an immediate resource over here so now in this case how do we know from this candidates how many number of candidates are available for each position who can join on immediate basis now then how can we do this how can we calculate how many candidates are available for each position who can join on immediate basis one more roll up summary okay fine then what need to be done Hmm. No, roll up summary we can do. Hmm. Simple. Here also the same process. We need to count that candidate. More records. Whose notice period is equals to immediate. That's it. The remaining people I don't want. I want to count the candidates for each and every position whose notice period is equals to immediate. The remaining candidates like as. Seven days of notice, fifteen days of notice, one month, two months, three months notice. These people I don't want. I want only those candidates who can join on immediate basis. Okay. Now, then, how to do that? Now, let's see practically by using roll-up summary fields. Now, let's see. Configure. Your roll-up summary field. on the position object to represent the count of candidates who can join on immediate basis who can join on immediate basis that means i want the immediate joiners count for each and every position now here also i would like to use a similar kind of okay conditions i want to create the roll up summary field on position object data type should be roll up summary and the summarized object should be candidate that means i would like to group the candidate records information to the various small small groups based on the position ids and then i would like to get the count but the requirement is what i want to count only those candidates whose notice period is equals to immediate okay immediate because i want only the immediate joiners count for each and every position so i want to apply the condition so i'm using a filter condition so what is the filter condition the candidates notice period notice period equals to immediate so what are the candidates are available whose notice period is equals to immediate only those candidates count i want the remaining candidates i don't want here
done now let's see how can we implement this functionality now let me show you with the practical now so let me create you one more roll up summary field go to the position object click on fields and relationships click on new field select the data type as roll up summary click on next now i would like to specify here i would like to specify the immediate joiners count here immediate joiners i would like to collect that immediate joiners count Okay, immediate joiners count. I want to count up those candidates who can join joining on immediate basis. Click on next button. Select the summarized object as candidates. Select that roll up type as count. Okay, now now when you come down, there will be an option called as filter criteria. in this filter criteria there are two radio buttons will be available here the first one is indicating include all the records in the calculation okay please include all the records in the calculation the second option will be please include only those records in the calculation which meets the specified conditions what are the records which meets the specified condition please include only those records in the calculation upon counting those records here now i would like to select the second condition but previously here we haven't touched this filter criteria that's what it is including all the records in the calculation but now i want to count only those candidates whose notice period is equals to okay, immediate so select the second radio button only the records meeting the certain criteria should be included in the calculation select the second radio button now specify the condition what condition you want to apply based on the notice period now let me go to the notice period condition notice period will be equals to i am indicating immediate you okay, can notice period equals to immediate clear no so this is the condition notice period is equals to immediate so now please count only those candidates whose notice period value is equals to immediate here now click on next remaining story will be same no change click on next make the field to be visible to all the profile users click on next make it save so now the field has been created successfully now here we can see so now one more roll up summary field that we have created which is going to be counting the number of childs are available for this particular each and every parent so this counting this candidate records here now let's see let me go to that record open each and every position record now let's see open the position record now let's see totally how many candidates has been applied here two candidates from out of this two how many candidates are able to join on immediate basis one person one person is on immediate basis so please contact that person and then schedule the interview for tomorrow so we will take up only one screening round once he is cleared with that screening round we will be hiring this person also for our team so in this case depends upon the requirement they are using this kind of filters also for the hr people these kind of functionalities are very very common these are important features so as an implementation as a developer we need to implement this kind of functionalities also for them okay let's see if you want to see those fields also on your user interface just you can customize the layout and then we can represent those fields also now i don't want to place this some of fields it's our contact number i don't want hiring manager name also i don't want i'm representing the immediate joiners count let's see so now it is indicating this is the java developer position total number of candidates are two candidates are applied from out of this two one person is able to join on immediate basis for salesforce developer two people has applied from this two one person is on immediate basis so that we can go to this respective candidate we can schedule the interview also for those people okay clear now this is how we can create the roll up summary field 
Okay, now next one. One more. Next one. Configure your role of summary field on account object. Configure your role of summary field on account object to calculate the total revenue generated from each customer to calculate the total revenue generated from each customer Done. Now let's see. Now tell me on what object we need to create that role of summary field. Hmm. On Some what object we need to create this? Total revenue. Account. Hmm. Opportunity object or account object? Hmm. Role of summary fields will be creating on what object? On parent or child? Parent, parent. object. Now, Parent. for example, come to your small scenario. Now we are having this account object. We are having this opportunity object. Here. For example, we have a customer, some Ram. He is our regular customer here for our supermarket. Every day he is visiting and our supermarket he is purchasing the various items. Now, so now for example, he has visited on yesterday, like some 21.9. He has visited our supermarket. He has purchased the items of cost of some 1100 rupees. 1100 rupees. That means yesterday we have generated 1100 rupees of revenue from this customer round. Again, today he has visited our supermarket, 22nd 9. And then he has purchased items of cost of some 450. After one more hour, he visited our supermarket again. Okay, he has generated that means has purchased few more items of cost of 200 rupees. Now, again, today evening, I will go to the supermarket, I will buy the items of cost of some 1000 rupees. Now, tell me till now how much revenue they have generated from this customer 1000, 21. And two three two seven five now two thousand seven hundred and fifty. So that means what here we are collecting each and every opportunity. This is opportunity one, opportunity two, third opportunity, fourth opportunity. We are collecting this opportunity values. This value is called as what amount value inside the opportunity. It is having a field called as amount field in this amount field it is having that amount value which indicates okay how much revenue we have generated from this customer so now what i want to do i would like to create a roll up summary field on my account object and through this roll up summary field i want to count that means i would like to do the sum of all the amount values of my related opportunity records but this account record, whatever the opportunities records are available, I would like to collect this opportunity records. I would like to collect their sum amount value. I would like to make it sum. Now tell me between this account and opportunity, what is the relationship that we have? Look up. Can I create many of this roll-up summary field? How? The already we have discussed here in the previous session. So now even though account and opportunity both are having lookup association, Salesforce has given most of the master detail behaviors between account and opportunities so that we can create role of summary field also. Can we create the role of summary fields between account and contact? No. Can we create between account and case? 
No. In this case, if you want roll-up summary field functionality between accountant contact or accountant case, what we can do? Development. Simple concept here. So through programming, with the help of triggers, we can implement that functionality because configuration features will not support. So at that time, we can go for development. Simple concept here. Through administration, if it is not at all possible, the only solution is development. Step forward here. Okay. Now let's see. Now let's see. So now what is this object name here? What is the object name now? Account, Account object. The field data type will be role of summary. Summarized object is opportunity. Okay. Roll up type, I would like to use sum. So, sum of what amount field value. Okay, sum of amount field value. So, I would like to get the sum of all this, okay, opportunities associated with this account. I would like to do the sum of those amount values I would like to represent. Done with this? No. Now let me show you how can we create this roll-up summary field. Let's go to your account object. Now, let's see. Let me show you with the concept first. I'm having an account with the name some edgy communications. Edge Communications is one of our customer here. These are the details of this customer record. We are having this account record data is available with me here. Now, so now how many opportunities are available? I would like to count. Go to that related. Now here we can see the opportunities. So now how many opportunities are available? Four. Now tell me how much revenue they have generated here. First time here. Let me show you. When you click on view all, we can see all in a single table itself. Now, this customer has purchased few products. When on May 8th, okay, they have generated some revenue okay, of 60,000 rupees. They have purchased items of cost of 60,000. And then on June 12th, okay, they have purchased some items of cost of 50,000. And then on August, okay, 21st, August 21st, they have generated some revenue of cost of 75,000. And then August 27th, they have generated the revenue of cost of okay, 35,000. So what is the total amount we have generated here? Now, 35, 75, 110, and then 110. So 210. Now 220. 2 lakhs, 20,000 here. Okay, 2 lakhs, 20,000. That means what? From this particular customer edge communication, still now we have generated two lakhs twenty thousand rupees of revenue. Here. Clear? Understood the concept now? Now, so in this case here, like the similar way for every account, we are having some related opportunities are available. So I would like to know from each customer how many, how much revenue we have generated from the customer. I would like to collect that value. Okay. Now, if I'm doing the calculation manually, it will take more time. Because the number of accounts are more, each account will be having some related opportunities are available. Like for example, here when you go to this United Island Gas Corporation, so now how many opportunities are available for this one? More than six plus. Now let's see how many opportunities are available. Here I'm having total ten opportunities are available. These are the amount values here: one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh twenty thousand, two lakh seventy thousand, nine lakh fifteen thousand. Like that here, various revenues we have generated. I need to make it sum up all these values. If you want to do this kind of calculation manually, it will take more time. So I want to make this process automated with the help of dollar summary fields. Clear? Now let's see. How can we create this roll-up summary field? Now let me show you. Go to the accounts. 
click on setup menu edit object now click on fields and relationships click on new button now select that data set as roll up summary okay roll up summary click on next now specify the field label so now i'm indicating this total revenue here total revenue now i'm indicating that customer are the total revenue for example simple how much revenue we have generated from this customer i want to indicate the total revenue now click on next button what is the summarized object over here opportunities do we have contact here do we have our faces here no we are having only opportunities here even though between account and the opportunity we are having lookup association but salesforce has given most of the master detail behaviors through programming that's what here it will allow us to map many to many so the alert us to map the association of type role of summary also here now i would like to use this opportunities now select the role of type what is the role of type sum sum of what Hmm. Sum of what? Some value. Where is that value available? Inside my record. In my record, so many fields are available. In my opportunity record, we are having name field, we are having stage field is available, close date, amount, probability, like that. We are having so many fields are there. Which field value would like to make it sum? Amount value here. So now inside this particular object, what are the fields are available here? Okay, whose okay data type is either percent. Currency number, those will be getting visible here. That's what I told you like in the previous session. Whenever we are doing the sum of these values, what are the fields that we are indicating that field of data type can be either a number or person or currency? It should not be a text, it should not be a pick list, it should not be phone, it should not be email, it should not be any other data type here. If you want to do the sum, sum means here we are doing some mathematical calculation, mathematical calculations. Mathematical calculations can be done only on numerical values. Numerical values are accepting in number field, person field, currency field. In the remaining fields, we are storing okay, other values like a string values, a booleans, IDs, all these things. Okay, now. So now let me select the field name. I'm selecting the field as amount. Okay, select that field amount there. So now please go to the respective opportunity records. For this opportunity, is whatever the amount values are available, collect those amount values, make it sum. Clear? Now click on next button. Make the field to be visible to all the profile users by selecting visible checkbox. Click on next. Make it save. Now, so the roll-up summary field has been created successfully here. Okay, the roll-up summary field has been created successfully. So now we have created the roll-up summary field. We are doing the sum of all the opportunity records. Okay, so amount value. Now let's see. Go to the account object now. Now let's see. I want to place that field okay on my user interface. So let's go to that fields. Select the fields to display. Now I want to represent the field total revenue. Total revenue. Okay, total revenue. Now I would like to make it a bit up. Now, say. So now it is indicating this value also. Let's see. So now this is the customer, Burlington Textile Corporation of America here. It is indicating we have generated till now 2,35,000 rupees of revenue. For the Dickinson PLC, 15,000 rupees of revenue. From Edge Communications, 2,20,000 rupees of revenue. Express Logistics and Transport, 4,20,000. Gini Point, 1,75,000. Grand Hotels and Resorts, 9,15,000. Pyramid Construction, 1 lakh rupees of revenue we have generated like that it is indicating from united island gas 
34 lakhs 40,000 rupees of revenue we have generated here because it is having 10 opportunities are available just now we have verified that here so it will go to the respective opportunity records it will be collecting that amount values it will do the sum the value will be represented to you over here clear understood the concept now this is how we can configure roll up summary fields inside your salesforce instance okay understood the concept now okay next Next concept. One to one relationship. One to one association. Uh, one, one doubt. Why uh, roll up? Uh... Is not working in the roll up summary is not working in the account and case because those are having lookup association the two when coming to lookup association the child records may not be associated with the parents that's what here it won't support even the account and opportunity has the lookup relationship right yes but salesforce has given most of the master detail behaviors that's what it is supporting okay now clear next one to one let's see how can we map one to one association between the two objects as of now we know one to many many to many then what is this one to one what did you understood with this word one to one relationship one to many means what one parent record multiple childs one to one means one parent record one child record that's it we cannot multiple childs so as part of this one-to-one -one association a parent record can be associated with only one child record not multiple okay your parent record should have only one child not multiple here okay now first parent first child second parent second child third parent third child like that so your parent should not have the multiple child only one child we can have for a single parent here now like when you go to in some cases you will be having one to one relation now as part of our salesforce one object one tab okay one object one tab one user one license one user one profile one user one role in the real world also we are having this kind of one to one association like we are having one person one pan number one person one other card one person one passport one person one driving license one person one employee id card one person one access card one person one system one person one cubicle like that here we are having one to one relations are available here now so in this case your parent record can be associated with only one child not multiple here when we try to add the second child we should not accept they want to show the error message boss we can't add the second child for this particular parent record because we have completely restricted a parent can have only one child not multiple then how can we implement this kind of functionalities over here now let's see here practically basically to implement this functionality i'm using the help of configuration Sometime before we are using the help of okay, the development to do this we are using development but now I would like to do this with the help of configuration itself by using mouse clicks we can do I don't want to use any programming languages then how can we achieve now let's see with the practical scenarios okay now so let me explain the concept here how can we achieve this for example assume that I'm having these two objects First one position object here. So this is my position object. Here I'm having the position ID, name of the position, and then I'm having candidate object. This is a candidate object. I'm having this candidate ID candidate name and then for which position he has been applied 
okay now two objects are there between these two we have map mass digital association where position is a parent candidate is a child so this is the field which is associating with this parent here clear now in my position object we have basically two fields id and the name and then we have created one field called as position field which is a master detail association field which is associating with this parent object that is position clear now fine so now let's see in this case here how can we do this now i am having a position record so now let me take a position record over here for example i am creating a position record first position some p1001 position name is some java developer for this position here one candidate has applied the candidate id is c104 or 101 his name is some ramesh ramesh has applied for this position so it is holding the position id as p1001 now tell me how many candidates are applied for this position now one how can we calculate this one roll up summary right with the help of roll up summary we can able to count how many candidates has been applied for this particular position so here i would like to have a roll up summary too okay i would like to have a roll up summary now it is indicating the value as one okay because for one position this java developer position one candidate has been applied over clear now for example today one more candidate is applying for the position c102 his name is some suresh he is also applying for the same position p1001 then what will happen in this case what about this roll up summary value now increasing by one more but now what i want to do i want to make it one to one okay one to one here so in this case here whenever i am adding second child then what this roll up summary value will do roll up summary will be incrementing by one more so before updating that roll up summary value as two here i would like to do the validation on this field i would like to do a validation over here i would like to do a validation i would like to check what is this value if it is two then i want to show an error message here boss i don't want to accept this particular record here because already we have restricted a position can have only one child but already one child is applied so you can't add one more child record for the same position for that one how can we do this validation for that one we are using the help of a feature called as validation rules we are using the help of validation rules so whenever you are trying to be creating a child record then automatically roll up summary value will be getting updated here before updating the roll up summary value if the validation rule will fire it will check the condition what is the value of the roll up summary now two now before updating the value two it will be verifying that if it is greater than one then it will show the error message this record cannot be acceptable okay so in this case whenever if you want to implement one to one association we don't have any ready made data type for one to many we have look up we have master detail but we don't have any data type for one to one which we need to implement through configuration features we need to mix the multiple functionalities together to achieve this functionality so much so in this case here i would like to implement this one to one association with the help of the combination of roll up summary field plus validation rules that's a simple concept okay it's a 100% common question in every interview how can we implement one to one association between the two objects this can be implemented with the help of two features first one we are using the help of roll up summary field second one we are using the help of validation rules by creating one roll up summary one validation rule we can achieve one to one association between two objects clear understood the concept now next how to implement we'll see with the practical use case also okay now let's see one to one association in this approach your parent record can be associated with only one child record 
inside the child object. In this approach, a parent record can be associated with only one child record inside the child object. Now, one-to-one -one association can be implemented with the help of the combination of with the help of the combination of role of summary field and the validation rule. And the validation rule. Okay, now let's see. Take a small use case. Configure one to one association between position and the candidate objects. Configure one to one association between the position and candidate objects. Now, let's see. As a step one, create a role of summary field on the position object, which counts the number of related candidates for each position, which counts the number of related candidates for each position. Second step, as a step two, create a validation rule on the position object to restrict the role of summary value the role of summary value cannot be exceeds exceeds one that means i want to make this role of summary value should be maximum of one not okay more than one it should be either zero or one it should not exceeds one then how to create this rule of validation rule? Let me show you. Click on the positions tab. Click on the positions tab. Click on setup menu. Click on edit object link. Click on setup menu and click on edit object. Click on validation rules from left panel. Click on new button to create a new validation rule. Enter the validation rule name, label, and description. Select the active checkbox 
to make the rule active. Select the active checkbox to make the rule in active status. Enter the validation condition in the formula editor. For example, I'm indicating candidates count underscore underscore C is greater than one. If the value is greater than one, I would like to show the error message. Now, enter the error message to be visible in the text box. Select the error location as top of the page and then click on save button and click on save button. This is a navigation we used to follow to create our own custom validation rules. Now, and then they have declared the Dasara holidays from 3rd to 9th, okay? But that will be very long period actually. So we'll have the sessions through online on 3rd and 4th also. 3rd and 4th, I would like to take the session through online because the institute will be closed actually from 3rd onwards. So we'll be having two online sessions that will be on 3rd and the 4th. I think festival will be on 5th, right? Right. So now here from 5th, you can take an off so that here third and fourth will be having online sessions sessions will be continuing over there till fourth okay from fifth till when the sessions are not there now fifth to ninth Fine. fifth to ninth will be the holidays okay that means wednesday to sunday will be the holidays Again, Monday will be having classroom sessions as usual. Third and fourth will be online sessions completely, no classroom. And then from fifth to ninth, we'll be having the holidays, Wednesday to Sunday. And Monday onwards again, we'll be having normal classroom sessions. So don't miss the sessions during that time. Okay, we'll be in the very important topics. Don't miss those sessions. Done? Now. Let's see how can we do that. Now I want to make sure your position record should be associated with only one candidate record here. So that I would like to map one-to-one -one association between position and the candidate objects. So to achieve this, I would like to have a roll-up summary field which will count the number of child records available for each parent. So now already we have created a roll-up summary field on my position object, which is counting the number of childs. Okay, fine. The second one is we need to create a validation rule okay, on my position object, which will be restricting this roll-up summary value should not be increasing more than one. The roll-up summary value should be either zero or maximum of one. It should not exceed one. Okay, so that I'm preparing that your validation rule. How to create this validation rule? Okay, now let's see. Let me go to my 
Salesforce R. I'm going to the position object now. Click on setup menu. Click on edit object. In the left panel, select the option roller validation rules. At the last, you will be having an option validation rules. The last option is validation rules. Click on validation rules. We haven't created any validation rules as of now on this object. Now let me create the validation tool. So click on new button. Specify the validation rule name and the description. Make the rule will be in active status by selecting this checkbox. Specify the validation rule condition inside the formula editor. And then show the error message. If the validation rule condition has been satisfied, what error message you want to show to the people, we can specify the error message. And we can specify the error location where exactly the error message has to be get visible. Now, let's see. I'm indicating this. Now, I would like to specify one to one relation here. One to one relation between position and candidate. Position and candidate. One to one relation between position and the candidate. Now let's create that validation condition. You no need to type those fields manually. When you want to show the error message, if the roll up summary value is more than one, I want to show the error message. So that means second child it is trying to be accepting. If it is accepting second child, that means it's like as one too many. But I don't want one too many, I want only one to one. So that I'm indicating the field. So click on insert field button. Don't type that field names. If you know the field name, you can type it, no issues. It's like as a normal text area control. If you don't know the field name, select the field name by using this insert field button, which will populate the field names also. And here we can select the operators also, whatever the operator that you want to. Now click on insert field. I would like to select the field called as candidates count. How many candidates are available for this position? I would like to count those candidates over here. Click on insert. This is a field name. Okay, this is a field name. This is a roller summary field. I want to check if this value is greater than one or not. I'm indicating greater than symbol. If the value is greater than one. So whatever the roll-up summary field that we have, if this roll-up summary field value is greater than one, then don't accept this value. I would like to show the error message. So let's verify. Now. Now I would like to indicate this. Now the candidate record cannot be accepted as a position can be associated with only one candidate. Okay. As the position can be associated with only one candidate. When you try to add one more candidate record, it should not accept that. So that I'm indicating the error message. What error message you want to show? It's your choice. It's one more, your own option. We can specify that error message. Select the error location at the top of the page. Now click on save button. Clear? Now click on save. So now it is indicating this. It should not have any alphanumerical values over here. It should not have any spaces also. Now here I'm indicating one to one relation. Now. Let's. So now my validation rule has been created successfully here. Now let's try to add. For example, I'm having this position. For this position already, we are having few candidates are available. Existing records will be okay available as it is. Okay, it will not be impacting on the existing records. From now on board, what are the chains you are going to add on those records? It will find the validations automatically. Now, so now for this position already, we are having some chains are available over here. Now let me try to add one more child. Go to the candidates. Let me try to make it clone. I'm cloning this record. 
I'm giving the name as some Pawan Kumar. He is from Hyderabad location. He is having one month of notice period. He is applying for the Java developer position. But for Java developer position, already some candidates are applied. But he is a third person. But just now we have created that one to one association. So the previous two childs are available as it is over here. When you try to update, validation rule will fire automatically. But now in this case, I'm creating the child, it will fire. Let's see, once you click on save button, it won't allow. It will be indicating the message candidate record cannot be accepted as a position can be associated with only one candidate. Now, so now in this case here. Now, even though once you click on this save button 100 times, it won't allow, it will be keep on showing that same message over here. Clear? Now, understood the concept now? This is how we can able to achieve one-to-one -one association between two objects. We can have one parent, one child. When you try to add the second one, it should not accept here. Okay? Now. So this is the way we can implement one-to-one -one association. It's a common question in every interview. So how to map one-to-one -one association between the two objects in Salesforce? This can be achieved with the help of the combination of both validation rule and then a role of summary field. With the help of these two features, we can able to implement here. Now, sometimes in the entry point of view, they will raise a question. Between these two objects, I don't have this role of summary field. Because these two objects are associated with lookup, but I want one to one. How can we do this? These two are having lookup association. So on lookup associated objects, can we create role of summary fields? Lookup associated objects. Role of summary field. No. Change to mask. Role of summary field cannot be applicable. No. Now, in this case, what we can do? Hmm. To we need to change the association from lookup to master detail first, then create the role of summary and then create the validations here. But I don't want to change the association from lookup to master detail. I want to continue as a lookup association only, by I, but I want one-to-one -one relationship. Is it possible or not? If yes, how? If no, why? Is it possible or not? Why? Yes, from validation rule. Hmm. So now it cannot be possible on um, between the lookup associated objects here through configuration. Can we do it through development? Yes. yes. Okay. Whenever if you want to map one-to-one -one association between the two objects which are associated with lookup associations, then the only solution is we can go with development. Through Apex programming with the help of triggers, we can do that. If it is having the master detail association, we can implement with the help of by creating one role of summary field and one validation rule here. But if it is a lookup association, we can't create role of summary fields because role of summary fields are applicable only on master detail associated objects. So we have to check the association between those two objects. Then only we can decide whether we can go for development or configuration. If it is configuration, how much time is required? If it is development, how much time is required? We have to estimate the timings also here. Okay, can this is how we need to analyze the requirements. Clear? Can you please say that no. again? Hmm. Between account and opportunity, we can go. Because Salesforce is allowing that, okay, roll up summary fields functionality. If the roll up summary fields functionality is allowed, then we can go with that one to one association by creating just a validation rule also on that part. With between some account and contact, can we do? No, roll up summary fields cannot be applicable. In this case, we can go for development part. Between account and case, then I want to know how many cases have been applied for each and every account here. Can we do that? No, but that one go for development here. Clear? Understood the concept now? So this is the concept of one-to-one -one association inside our relationships in Salesforce. Okay, and we have one more last feature, standard junction objects we'll see in tomorrow's session. Okay, I'm winding up the session a bit early today. I have a work so that uh, Tomorrow we'll see the concept of standard junction yeah. objects. That is the last part yeah. of relationships. Yeah. And tomorrow yeah. we'll be discussing about the concept yeah. of data management. Okay. Saturday we we'll have the session as usual, normal timings here.
So by it's Saturday, we'll be talking about the data management features. And from Monday onwards, we'll start the concept of reports and dashboards that will be taking three sessions. And then we'll enter into the concept of formula fields, and then record types, and finally, security features. OK? Excuse me, Tarot. Security is a major topic which will take completely seven to minimum eight to nine sessions, completely on security part. It will be having almost 23 to 24 features are there inside that. OK? Excuse me, Feroz. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, can you please repeat the 